Hey guys, I just got back from my ride on the 2020 Ibis Ritmo and Tyler was kind enough to come with me and ride the old Ritmo as well. So we had them both. We swapped back and forth throughout our ride. Um, we're down here in St. George, Utah, riding some pretty technical janky trails and I thought it was a perfect testing ground for these two bikes. Um, Man, right away, uh, the biggest thing, and I don't know if this is going to bum you guys out or not, but right away you just feel like, man, they're not that different. And so um, th that's the reality. If you currently own a Ritmo, do you need to run out and buy the new one? Well, maybe if it's time for a new bike, but um, you know, the slacker head tube angle is kind of nice, but I didn't notice it that much on the trail. Does the new Ritmo feel like more stable or confidence inspiring? I don't know, it, it, it's really, one degree is just really hard to tell the difference in. Um, you also have two more millimeters on the rear end of the new Ritmo. Um, again, not enough to really tell a huge difference in. Um, the biggest thing that I noticed a difference in, I would say, is that the, the Generation 2 Ritmo feels like a little bit more active and open feeling, like it smooths out the trail just a little bit more. and. Uh, the bikes were set up almost the exact same way. Um, they both have Fox One, uh, Fox 36s on the front at 160 millimeters, and uh, very similar spec on on both bikes. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't say uh, I, at first I thought, man, I, you know, maybe maybe the old Ritmo will climb better. But truly, we swap Tyler and I swapped back a number of times, and I didn't really feel like one climbed better than the other. Um, also, uh, on the there's a couple sections of the steep climbs. And um, I didn't, I thought I might notice that, that front wheel on, on the new bike flop around a little bit or lift a little bit, and it, and it really never did. It just was amazing. Um, yeah, I think, I think the biggest thing is, is if, if you've never bought the old Ritmo and you wanted to get one, I would say the new Ritmo is like the old one, but a little bit better, a little bit smoother on the trail, um, slightly more progressive in the shock. I didn't feel that. Um, that's a talking point on Ibis's website that they've added more progression. I think they moved the shock mount just a little lower onto the, the down tube here, um, you know, making it more progressive and maybe they, they tube the shock slightly a little different, but I didn't really feel it on my ride today. I'm five foot eight riding a size medium. I'm 140 pounds, so I'm not a real big guy. So um, one of the things that I really loved about the original Ritmo um, was how easy it was to move around on the trail. It's willingness to pop off any little part of the trail and move around on. Also jumping it in the air, I feel like I can just, I feel like I'm one with the bike, like I'm sitting down in, in the bike, like it's just part of me. It's, 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 I really love that about it. Um, I was worried, I'm not worried, but I, I thought with the new changes of the Ritmo that they might lose that kind of characteristic. And for me, not at all. It's very zippy and quick uh, side to side. It moves around on the trail very effortlessly. Yeah. Um, switchbacks were easy to get around. I, I know, I, I feel like it's just as nimble and snappy and quick as the previous bike. Um, and this is after four hours of riding them back to back. So. Um, I was super nice. excited to leave Salt Lake where it's snowing and get down here in the desert so I could do this head-to-head -head between the two bikes. A lot of people with the with the current Ritmo probably thinking, oh man, even if you just bought it like the last six months, you'd be, you might be like, man, a, a new Ritmo just came out. And you know what? If you're a guy that likes to buy a new bike every year, go out and get the new Ritmo. Um, it's not going to be that much different. Uh, just love your current Ritmo, ride the hell out of it and love it. Um, if you want to get the the few changes that they made or you like the new colors, you know, there are some things that are a little bit better about the new Ritmo in my opinion. Um, and, and, you know, I've mentioned in here, but it's not enough to, to justify maybe go out and buy a new bike. Everyone's different, I guess that's up to you. Um, another thing to talk about is they didn't change the price point on. That's pretty cool. I like that. And uh, they offer it with Asagai tires uh, on the new uh, Ritmo. Um, I ended up swapping mine out for a DHF in the front and an aggressor on the on the rear, so it was more like the previous Ritmo, and uh, you know I thought it was great just how it was. One thing also to mention is like the build kits throughout. Not only did they not raise the prices, but um, they're offering more uh, Shimano build kits. They still offer GX XT uh, X01 access, and then the one I'm on today is the uh, XTR. Um, so they still offer a, a different variety of build kits on these bikes. Um, 
if I had a negative thing to say about the new bike, um, and it wasn't that different than the old one, it, it would be that uh, the rear chain stay, um, I wish they added just a little bit more protection to it. Uh, and I feel that way about all their bikes, the Ripley and the HD5 also, because my previous HD4, um, I ended up chipping the paint on it just a little bit. So I wish Ibis would add just a little bit more chain stay protection from, from the chain slap. It's not a huge deal, but it's, it's something to consider. Um, also uh, on the Ripmo, if, uh, and this was true for the old Ripmo as well, if you uh, want to get the DPX2 shock, it only comes in the performance build. Um, it doesn't come with the uh, Kashima coating and uh, the extra tunability of, of the, of the uh, Performance Elite or the factory shock. So you have to get the X2, and if you get the X2, you get the factory shock. It's not a huge deal. I like riding these bikes with the DPX2. I feel like it's just a little bit more open and active feeling than the X2. Um, and I'm a smaller guy, so I, I like that. But um, man, it was fun to ride them back to back. Um, I thought there would be a glaring difference. I, I really, I wasn't worried or concerned, but like I just kind of thought, ah man, I hope they didn't ruin the Ritmo because the Ritmo is such a good trail bike for even slow speed cross country trails all the way up to just bike park stuff, you know? It's just really good. And I think the changes they made didn't ruin any of the stuff I loved about the Ritmo um, on the old Ritmo. It just made it better, honestly. I, I don't think it's any slower or not as quick to turn or maneuver. I could maneuver this thing all day long. In fact, Okay, so there was a few times there on that descent with a couple of little drops where I felt like I did bottom out the bike a little bit. Where the new Ripmo probably would have stood up a little taller in its suspension through that section. So, yeah, I guess that's a noticeable difference right through that section. The old Ripmo kind of bottomed out just a little bit. And maybe that new Ripmo stands up a little taller in the midsection. Hey Tyler, why don't you switch me? Switch me real quick. Try, trying to decide if that bike feels more supportive through the end of the stroke. Dude, these brakes are so much more powerful. I know, totally. Oh man, getting back on the new Ripmo. I mean, I know it's a brand new bike, but still, it just feels a little bit smoother, a little bit more supported through the mid-stroke, probably. Ah, oh, that was fun. Anyway, if you stuck around the video this long, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on notifications. Um, I got tons of other bike videos to go check out, even in this category. Um, that are probably worth watching. Go check out the uh, Evil Offering video or the Revel Rascal, the Pivot Switchblade, High Tower, uh, Santa Cruz High Tower. The list goes on and on. I try to try to write all these. Um, we picked up the Ripmo uh, and the Rip, uh, the old Ripmo and this Ripmo from Salt Cycles in Sandy, Utah. Um, they don't have any more old Ripmos in stock, but they have the Ripmos, the new Ripmos. Man, I'm saying Ripmo like a thousand times but they have plenty of the new one in both colors, both blue and this, uh, this gray color in stock. So reach out to them if you're local. If you're not local, give them a buzz. They're always happy to talk to anybody about bikes. They just, they're, they're great guys there. Um, so thanks to Salt Cycles for letting us uh, take these out today. I hope this was helpful for you. For some of the guys who don't get a chance to ride the bike, um, you know, I, I hope this is useful for you and you can glean some sort of information from this. I'm an average guy, average rider. I like to just go out and have fun on the trail. So hopefully it's useful for you. Um, if you have any shopping that you need to do for mountain bike stuff, like helmets or glasses or anything, use the links I have in my description down below. It costs you nothing and it really helps support my channel so I can keep doing videos like this. Um, there's links below you can go check out. Um, what a great time to be a mountain biker. Uh, the old Ritmo is an awesome bike. Just because Ibis releases a new Ritmo doesn't mean the other one's obsolete. Um, if you've never been on the Ritmo, the new one's gonna blow your mind. This, I had a fun four hours today riding this thing. It was really a, a good time. Uh, thanks for watching guys, we'll see ya.